Hey everyone, Eric with All Replay. The rain has stopped this uh, Saturday morning. I think I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this trunk area finished up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the trunk down a little bit more on the right hand side, on the passenger side. Then go ahead and work on getting the rust seal down on the trunk, you know, the spare tire area. I uh, need to put some more bolts in the actual gas tank. Uh, cover and then um, you know just clean everything up put it all back I'm gonna wrap the actual um, what's it the uh, the PSE it's the door lock uh, actuator for the car the vacuum actuator vacuum pump uh, wrap that in plastic and put it back in this place and just finish it all up and then you know I'll probably end up turning the car around because uh, one issue is, I mean, when it rains real bad, it gets leaves stuck in the channel, and it's just, it drips a little bit, you know what I mean? So it's concerning to me. I don't want any water getting in there. So we'll figure that point out. But I think for the most part, the trunk is in the right position to get everything done. So we're going to go ahead and get started on it. This is where I missed a couple boats. One was up here, here, and, uh, and there's some on that side. So, you know, these matter because it go through the body, and you know, I think water could get through them. So I want to go ahead and put these back in. Hey everyone, Eric, back again. It's actually Sunday morning, and I'm going to work on getting this car turned around. Ooh, the sun is killing me right now. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the citry strip. Uh, I think I'm going to just go ahead and strip whatever is in the trunk pan down and uh, get it removed and ready for that rust seal sample. So let's get started. All right, well, I just realized that the gas pedal is not in there, and... It's going to make it kind of hard to put that back in and move this car around. So I'm just going to leave it in the same position until we get everything else finished. So let's go ahead and get that citrus strip. I'm going to test it out in one spot, see if it works good enough. If not, just get the wire wheel with the drill, knock it all down, and get it prepped for the rust seal.
right, so I got this uh, KBS clean. I'm supposed to mix this with warm water, and it's supposed to clean all the bare metal because I got it down good enough for what I'm going to do with this. And it says that it makes up to 10 times its volume, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try this out. Don't let regret it, make me your only one. You choose it, don't lose it, don't let it confuse it, only then you'll be gone. Feel like, feel like, feel like that. Alright, so we got the rust clean done. Uh, it started raining on me a little bit, but I got it nice and clean. Now I'm going to try this uh, rust glass y'all can see that right there is the second step supposed to apply this with full strength with a brush or you know a sponge applicator then you're supposed to rinse it off uh, before 10 minutes if it's lightly rusted like this so i'm just going to do a quick little once over then be ready to start sealing it Alright, well I got the rust seal here, and this is the off-white, y'all can see that right there, no you can or not, but uh, basically they said to take this, I'm going to put, I got like a little plastic container, you say use glass or something, I got like a little fruit cup container I cleaned out, I'm going to put some paint in this and work out of this because it's going to start curing, you know, so they say do not work out of the can, so let's get started. So here's the first coat. We're going to let this dry. Come back, do two more coats. and should level everything out. So it looks like that's going to be it for this video. But um, I'll show you the finished product. It is definitely getting dry, nice, and smooth. So I think like two more coats would be good to go. And uh, I'm going to let this hurricane pass by that's coming. 